Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. I think it's the telephone. Can't be. We're asleep. That's true. Good night. David, it is the telephone. I told you it was. What are you going to do? Going back to sleep and let it ring. Oh, David, I can't let it ring. How will I find out who it is? It's a wrong number. Only wrong numbers telephone at this hour of the night. Wrong numbers and... It, it is not Mama. Now, she's asleep. How do you know? Because I am. Well, I'm not. So I'm going to find out who it is. Stay where you are, darling. I'll go. Oh, whoever it is really wants us to answer. David, I hope it's not something wrong. What could be wrong, darling? Oh, so many things. David, put on the light. You'll break your neck. Oh, I know where everything is. Ouch. I only broke my foot. Oh. Is it Mama? Well, yes, yes, this is known. About what? About this apartment? We're living in it. The ad. It's the it... ad about the apartment we put in the papers, remember? Oh, so we did. I'd forgotten. David, this must be Monday. Yes, ab about the ad. Well, it's four and a half rooms. Yeah, yeah, nice large rooms. Does somebody want to rent it at this hour of the night? Uh, starting in two weeks. No, no, not before that. Well, the rent is very reasonable. You want to come over and see it. Not now, David. We're not even dressed. No, no, of course not. Not this hour. Not before 8 o'clock. What's that? I'll bring your references with you. References? Why references? He's not coming for a job, is he? Yes, this is with the approval of the landlord. Ask if he has any children. We'll only rent to people who have children. My wife wants to know if... Say, by the way, what paper did you read this ad in? The Times, I see. But it isn't on the street yet. How'd you find out about it? Would uh, you mind telling me how you found out about this ad? <laughs> well, that's a new one. Yes, yeah, first thing in the morning, apartment 12C. Well, good night. David, how did he find out? <laughs> His girlfriend is the telephone operator down at the newspaper. She told him. His girlfriend? <laughs> Which just goes to show you, you can't afford to tell a secret to anybody these days. You're so right. Come on, darling, let's go back to bed. Good night, darling. Good night, Claudia. Sleep tight. I'm sleeping tight already, thank you. So am I. That telephone operator, I wonder how many boyfriends she has. Well, if it's that late, I've got to be getting to the office. Oh, David, are you going to leave me with all these doorbells and phones ringing? I hate to, darling. I suppose you'd better. Mama's coming over. She ought to be here any minute. Maybe I can call up Roger and drop in later. Could you? I suppose so. What a night, huh? What a telephone operator. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's your turn. All right, I'll answer it. That's the doorbell. Your turn. Don't promise anything, darling. Hello, David. Oh, Mama. My, you look as if you've been up all night. <laughs> I have been up all night. You mean people have been calling you up already? Ever since before the ad was in the paper. Oh, you poor children. Well, I'll help you out now. You going to the office? A little while. Thought I'd stay around and see how things are going. I had no idea our tiny little ad would start such an avalanche. Hello, Mama. Hello. Who was that? One single gentleman. I said no. What are you going to do with single gentlemen who need a place to live? Chop off their heads? Let them get married and have children. Then I'll talk to them. 
It's your turn, David. I'm coming. Molly, you can take the door. Where to? We haven't got time for jokes today. Just answer it. What do I say? Don't say anything. Just ask questions. You must be having a marvelous time. A single lady. I told her no. I hope you weren't mean. No meaner than you are to single men. But, David, it's not a lady's fault that she's single. On the contrary, it's very sad. Just think she never got married. You're jumping to conclusions. I'd love to jump at a cup of coffee. It's, it's your, your turn, turn, Mrs. Mrs. Brown. Brown. Hello? Yes. Oh, about the ad. Well, it's a four and a half room apartment. How many children have you got? Only two? I'm terribly sorry, but... Yes, about the apartment. You've got a very old mother. Yes, I understand. You've got a cat and a dog? Oh, that's lovely, but... And three grandchildren? But you see... Hello? You've got four brothers and three sisters, and you all want... I know, but have you got any children? Your husband's overseas? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You're expecting him back. Oh, that's marvelous news. But are you planning to have children? I'm exhausted. I'm dead. I never did get to the office, did I? What time is it, Mama? Six o'clock, and I wish I had the strength to go home. If the phone rings, don't bother answering. Darling, you're not sick, are you? Of course not. It's just that I've rented the apartment already, so... You've what? I've rented it. What's the matter? Well, everything's the matter. Well, what do you mean? Uh, I've rented it, too. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But you couldn't have. I did. That's impossible, David. I rented it. That means we've rented it three times? Looks like it. Really, the minute you leave something to women... Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you two will have to call up your clients, because I promise. Yeah, I promise, too. And my word's as good as yours. This is terrible. I'm sure mine deserves it most. Well, who is yours? Mine is a wife with a husband. You don't say. And that's not all. She's got three children and one on the way. Then she doesn't want this apartment. It'll be too small. She's in three rooms now, David. This is one and a half rooms more. And she's only getting one baby more. I rent mine to a husband with a wife. Silly, every husband has a wife. And this husband has two children and three dogs. Well, don't you two even bother to fight it out because the apartment has to go to the person I've rented it to. Really, Mrs. Brown? Really? Go on, tell us, Mother. Well, children, this girl's husband is in the army. He's in Japan. She's living with her mother and her two children and her sister, and her husband's expected home any day, and if they don't get an apartment soon, well, they just won't be able to be together. Oh, oh that's awful. Pretty tough, huh? Imagine not being able to be together. Trouble is, I, I've heard so many awful stories today, it makes me feel as if half the people in the world don't have a place to live. I think that's a pretty decent estimate of the situation, darling. Oh, David, we're so lucky. I don't want to look another telephone in the mouth as long as I live. Hello, it's rented. Who'd you say? Mr. Murray. <gasps> oh. Mom, it's the landlord. Yes, they've been coming all day. What? For your brother-in-law. You insist on renting it to him. But, Mr. Murray, you said that... Oh, so that's it. Oh, Mr. Murray, I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot consent to give up this apartment to your brother-in-law. This is just the sort of favoritism I take violent objections to, and I'm not even going to discuss it. David, what happened? Of all the nerve. What is it? That landlord has a brother-in-law, so he's going to take this apartment and give it to him. That's the kind of graft and greed and selfishness that's going on in this world. It gets me furious. Well, I won't give it to him, that's all. I just won't give it to him. I don't blame you. This kind of thing going on all over the country. Landlords holding back apartments for higher prices, taking money under the table, renting apartments out to friends and relatives who have no right to them. I'm, I'm not going to be a party to it. Well, David, what are you going to do? I'll sublet it furnished or I'll... I'll think of something, but I won't give it back to you. Oh, that's the doorbell. There's no use answering it, darling. Whoever it is, your answer will have to be no. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Norton. Oh, Fritz, it's good to see somebody who has a place to live. <laughs> Fritz. Hello, come in. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Norton, you've had a busy day, yes? Uh, you can say that again, Fritz, and multiply it by two. We've been so popular, Fritz, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> Every day people ask me if I got an apartment for them, and the answer always is no. <laughs> uh, Mr. Norton, Mr. Uh, Mr. Murray, he uh, he just called me. Oh, I wouldn't talk to him, so 
Now he called you. Huh? Uh, it's about his brother-in-law. I don't want to hear another word about his brother-in-law. He is very anxious if he had not already rented the apartment to have it for his uh, brother-in-law. Well, it's too late. We've rented it. Three times. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, well, he says his brother-in-law is uh, such a nice gentleman. I don't care. I, I don't care how nice a gentleman he is. We're uh, not going to do it. He is just back from the war. Just back? But the war's been over for years. He was, uh... He was a long time getting here. Yeah, a long time. Three years to be in a hospital. Uh, but he's lucky. There are others who are less lucky who will never leave the hospital. Oh, yeah, but he, he has his wife. His wife? He's married? Yeah, and, and three little children. Oh, they are very sweet. Three uh, little children? Yeah, but they, they come around sometimes with Mrs. Murray. <laughs> they like so much to see the furnaces and to ride up and down in the elevators. To ride up and down in the elevators. <laughs> yeah, well, where they live, they have, to, they have to walk up the stairs. Oh, David. I, uh... Know what you're thinking, darling. But if you say the apartment is rented, uh, uh, this uh, Mr. Murray, he, he understands. It's not rented, Fritz. Not quite. It, it was, almost. Three times, but not quite. Uh, almost, you sort of not have uh, promised. Uh, I'll call Mr. Murray myself. I think I ought to apologize to him. What's going on out here? What are you people mumbling about? Mama, it's all settled. What's all settled? The apartment's rented. We just rented it again. Claudia, you're not making any sense. There's no sense to anything, is there, David? No sense. And yes, we have no apartments today. Now, Mama, you can go home. Come on, Claudia. Let's go to bed and pray the phone doesn't ring. Surprising how little it takes to change a daily burden into an agreeable routine. For instance, next time you're marketing, instead of pushing along without let-up, stop and make your way to one of those friendly Coca-Cola coolers. You'll find them in many food stores now, as well as in drug stores, service stations, and department stores. When you see that friendly sign beckon, pause for ice-cold Coke, and let its delicious refreshment make the going pleasanter for you. Say, Mr. King... You don't happen to know of three empty apartments that we could rent. Three? Oh, <laughs> to the people we finally had to disappoint. Oh, wish I did, Mrs. Brown. I wish I did. It's quite a problem, isn't it? It doesn't seem to be improving much. But I guess David and Claudia will forget all about this one tomorrow. Something serious? Oh, not very. Uh, just about an unexpected house guest. A very young gentleman that Claudia and David haven't met yet. Roger Killian's son. He has no place to stay either, and so he... Uh, 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 don't tell me, Mrs. Brown, because I'll be here tomorrow to find out. Do that. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Brown. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do... Wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause, the pause that refreshes. Claudia has come to most of you now for the past six months. We'd welcome any suggestion or anything you may wish to say about the show. Write to Claudia, Post Office Box 173, Church Street Station, New York 8, New York. Now let me repeat the address... Post Office Box number 173, Church Street Station, New York 8, New York. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs>